So guys, for the first step, you wanna get into this screen. Now to get here, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times and then on the fourth time, when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna be saying that your PC did not start correctly. You wanna click on advanced options. And now once you're on this, there are some things that we can try to fix the problem. So for the first method, you wanna click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options. Now you wanna click on uninstall updates. You want to uninstall the latest quality update. You wanna click on this and then click on uninstall quality update. These are the smaller updates that Windows does. See if that works for you. You can close out of this and then go back into Windows, see if that works. If they're still not working, or if it did not let you uninstall the update, then you wanna click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then start to prepare. It's now gonna start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load. And it should now hopefully be booting you back into Windows, see if that works for you. If they're still not working, then you wanna come back into this screen like I show you how to do at the start of the video. You wanna click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and this time system restore. If you have a restore point available on your computer, then you wanna click on next and then go back to your restore point. If not, you wanna click on cancel. For the next method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and this time command prompt. And now once you're on this, you wanna type in bootrec space forward slash fix MBR. Click on enter. And now you wanna type in bootsect space forward slash nt60 space sys click on enter and now you want to type in bootrec space forward slash fix boot click on enter again and now you want to type in bootrec space forward slash rebuild bcd click on enter again and now you want to type in sfc space forward slash scan now and then click on enter and you now want to run this scan as well wait for this to load I'm gonna skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now once that's been done, we can now close out of this. Now you wanna to continue to Windows and hopefully this will not fix your problem. If not, then you wanna come back to this screen. I'll show you how to do that at the start of the video. Now once we're here, for the last method, you wanna click on Troubleshoot and then reset this PC. If you don't have your files backed up, you wanna click on Keep My Files. If you do have your important files backed up, you wanna click on Remove Everything. Now you want to reset your computer and this should not fix your problem. 